Today I'm going to show you how to style an outfit to hide your belly fat. Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel that explores fashion, beauty and lifestyle for women over 50. And if you're a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video and they'll all relate to you. As women over 50, most of us have belly fat issues because when we go through menopause and when we're entering menopause our midsection thickens it's so unfair but I'm going to show you some ways some really great ways to disguise your belly fat so that it's still there but nobody's going to notice it tip number one wear an a-line top or dress that will skim your belly rather than cling to it this is a great tip because it does completely disguise all the rolls and all the belly fat this first example is me wearing a tight fitting top and pants the problem here is that it looks okay on the front but when I turn to the side you can see my belly so clearly and I wouldn't like to go out like that it's not comfortable and I'd constantly feel like I had to suck it in and even though I'm petite it's still disproportionate to my body that belly and I'm not happy about it but there's plenty of ways to avoid this look this is an a-line top so it actually skims over my tummy and it's more fitted up top and then just under the bust it flares out a little bit so it's totally skimming and you can't see the same as what you can see in the picture before you can't see anything and when you're shopping for an a-line top i want to show you what to look for this is what you want to have you want to have a fall on it but the way to check it is to fold it in half at the shoulders and and the arms and this is what you're looking for you're looking for that shape there so it's like a semicircle they cut it on the bias can you see that properly when you're looking at the half this way you want it to look like that so it's like a half circle cut on the bias if it's not cut on the bias and the, the fabrics just cut straight you won't get the proper fall what you're going to get is maybe a bit of a flare at the bottom but it's still going to hug to your tummy so avoid those kind of tops and dresses and do the test before you buy it I'll add some links in the description below of tops like this or dresses like this but it's a line cut on a bias and tied up top and flow it's the skimming part over your tummy that's going to make all the difference tip number two add definition to the smallest part of your body so if your tummy's big and just under your bust is the smallest part that's where you add something to it your good bits have to be center stage so in this example here i've added a crop top over my a-line top so the crop top finishes just under the bust and there's no way I'd wear this on its own because that would be ridiculous on me but wearing it over this top it's bringing me in on the smallest part of my torso so it's actually giving me some a V look so it comes down into the middle and that hourglass and then it comes out over the hips but this is really good because you have an a-line top underneath which is skimming over your belly and then on top of that you're layering with another top that's going to bring you right in at that smallest part a tip here if you have a big bust don't wear a neckline up like I have you would wear a v-neck and you can do it short sleeve long sleeve but you can try this because this is a really great way just to experiment with your wardrobe and just to try new things also what you can do here is add a belt to the smallest part of your body again if it's for me it's underneath and just adding a belt to here again is giving me definition to my good bits and you can't even notice that I have a tummy anymore because it's covered it's still there 
but nobody can tell. Tip number three is to layer your tops to draw your eye away from your belly. So what you can do here is you can layer two tops on top of each other with different hemlines. If you can get a curve or a V coming down like in this picture, that's going to just bring the eye right down so that nobody's focusing on your tummy. And things with a flow give us a softer look. And if you think of the belly as a curve, you're more curvaceous, you can address that with adding curves to your outfit. So if you, were, if you have curves in your tummy, like the rolls that we all know that we have, if you're going to address that with straight clothes, it's going to emphasize it. So curve and curve and straight and straight. Tip number four, high-waisted jeans are a girl's best friend. And the reason is because they suck you in and what's not good about that? So a high-waisted jean I have on here, it comes up just a tiny bit past my belly button. That'll be different on ladies who have got a tall long waist but around your belly button if you're a little bit shorter it'll be just over your belly button but that's where the curve of your hips comes in so if you've got a high-waisted pant that is just hugging your hips and pulling your tummy in that's magic you you can work with that so if you put your jeans on and then pull everything in zip it up you held in for the day and there's no muffin top. And then anything that you put over that, all of your tops, you've got an extra layer of protection and security and it's amazing. Tip number five is to layer over the top of your outfit. So layering with cardigans, vests or long tops. This creates the illusion of, again, it's that flow that you're looking for. So you've become more curvy, you've got curves here. We're going to complement that with some sort of interesting angles on your layers. So if you wear a garment like this one, this is not going to particularly hide and cover your tummy, but it's going to add interest and softness to the rest of your look and it'll smooth out all the lumps sort of up here and then on top of that you can layer another layer which is just going to give you a more interesting look and another way is to create a column of color from your top to your bottom and this works magic because the eye is looking at here on me is a dark color so the eye is looking into this length but this is going to disguise anything that I've got going on and you can tell from the picture at the very beginning there's a bit going on there and you can do the same as this. Just add layers and add flow. That's going to help make you feel a lot more comfortable in everything that you're wearing. Tip number six is to invest in shapewear. No matter what your size is, all of the movie stars, all of the women our age, all of the young women, they're all wearing some sort of shapewear under their outfits. But for us with belly fat, and issues around menopause it's just a really nice thing to wear to give you a bit more confidence to go out and feel like you are all pulled together and you're all smooth i like Spanx the best because for me they they just work they're they're so well designed and they really make a big difference to everything you're wearing if you're going to wear something completely clingy and wear Spanx, you still kind of have to suck your tummy in so that you don't have that bump but you have to be aware of it so in this case buy something like this that is going to be the exact right size for you and two things you have to be really super cautious of where it finishes up here and where it finishes on your leg so if you buy a little bit too small it kind of rolls up on your leg and that's the worst thing in the world because it gives you a line that you didn't used to have. And that's what we've got to look for and try on. You've got to try these things on, put your outfit on top of it. And if you're seeing lumps like indents into your leg, 
when you've got the Spanx on, you need a different size or you need a different style. But if you just like to wear some shapewear to give you some confidence and you're not going to be in really tight clothes, I would recommend going one size up because then you're super comfortable. Happy days, you're smooth, everything's good. Tip number seven, this is genius. I don't know how many of you know about the Spanx workout wear. So if you're someone who works out and hopefully if you're in your 50s or 60s or 70s, you're doing some exercise, you gotta check out these Spanx. I discovered these about three years ago and they are game changers. I didn't think they would be as good as what they are because I thought they would be like wearing Spanx undergarments and kind of tight and uncomfortable. But they are so comfortable, but they suck you in and they lift you up. And I can't believe that the whole world isn't wearing these. These are really good and not sponsored, nothing. I don't get anything for this. I just want to tell you what I love and these are amazing. They're not see-through and they make plus sizes, which is amazing. I think that's great because no matter what size you are, you can get a pair of these and you can work out and you can feel way more confident than if you didn't have them. Tip number eight is posture. And you might say, yeah, 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 but we forget. We forget that holding our shoulders up and you know our head high and holding our tummy in is going to give us a much better look than being slouchy and putting all that load on our body. So standing up tall, not so much holding your tummy in so that you can't notice it, but holding yourself in a way that gives you elegance and it gives you a structure and it keeps you upright. It's so nice to see women standing up straight. Tip number nine to hide your belly fat is to show off the other good parts of your body. Find out the thing that is good about you. So do you have a really good decolletage? Do you have a beautiful set of wrists or ankles or do you have a nice waistline whatever that is for you that's what you need to show off because that will take the eye away from your tummy and onto these beautiful parts of your body that deserve to be shown off and don't focus on your belly focus on something that you love find what you love and just focus on that and tip number 10 is the most important tip of all give yourself a break don't get so caught up on, you know, looking great and fashion and style and what's in style and I don't know what to wear. Don't get hung up on it. Do the best you can. Implement some of the tips I've shown you today. Find out what you love about your body and show that off. But your number one thing and your very, very, very best asset and the thing that people will notice the most is your smile. So when you're with other people, smile. Be present, think about what they're telling you, take it in, ask questions, be interested and focus on what they're saying and focus on how you think you are making them feel. When you're that present with someone and giving them all that energy, they're not even going to notice your belly. They're not going to notice anything about you except how you made them feel. Please give a thumbs up if you found any of these tips helpful. And please share with any of your girlfriends who are struggling with belly fat. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.